Hi, welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to be participating in a Cinco de Mayo tablescape that I'm doing with some of my friends here on YouTube. And this is hosted by Really Good Living and it's co-hosted by a bunch of us, including Decorate Ants Place, The Grace Life DIY Home Decor, The Rogers House, me, Miscellaneous B, in Mary Key's Happy Home Decor. And I'm going to list all of our channels down below in the description box along with a playlist. So when you're done with this video, make sure you go over and check out what all these really fantastic ladies are doing for their Cinco de Mayo tablescape. And check out everybody who's on the playlist because there are going to be so many great ideas on how to decorate and a lot of them will have food on theirs and it will be so yummy. So make sure you go over and check them out. And if you like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Now let's get right into this and let me show you what I did. Now here is my really colorful and beautiful Cinco de Mayo tablescape. I used a lot of bright, bold colors, and right here in the center, I have this beautiful centerpiece. Let me take you in here and show you a little bit closer. I am using some of these yellow trays that I actually got out of my Michael's Grab Bag boxes last year, and I have the top one upside down and then the bottom one I have set normal with a candlestick in between the two of them and you can see I use this beautiful sombrero on the very top and I picked this up at Hobby Lobby and then underneath that I was able to find some of these like porcelain chilies on this rope at the thrift store and then on the next layer down here I have some chili salt and pepper shakers and some of these maracas and at the end of this video i'm going to show you how i painted those maracas up and then i have a little guitar on there and around the bottom of it here i have some of these lace that i picked up at the dollar tree last year and then you can see i also have some of these colorful corns now this is the back side of my centerpiece here and I have some of these colorful corns on here along with this other pepper and then let me take you in and show you the actual place settings so you can get a little bit better feel for how I did each place setting now you can see this very back place setting here it is actually a red placemat and then I'm using this orange Dollar Tree plate and then I have these green napkins and I was able to thrift these green napkins and then this absolutely adorable chili bowl sitting on top of it. And then I'm just using some regular silverware. Then I have these blue plastic kind of wine glasses or water goblets. And wherever I'm not using the blue plastic, I have a yellow plastic one. And I'll show you that a little bit closer in a minute. Now let me take you to one of my other place settings and right here you can see this chili bowl that I have is so cute. This is by Clay Art and it's called their Chili Fiesta and I just love this. I was able to thrift this a few months ago as well and I just thought that was so fun and then I got these great bright green napkins at the thrift store as well. And then here is this red plate that I picked up last year at Dollar Tree. And then here's my Dollar Tree placemat. Now on this one, I use my black silverware. And in every other spot, I either use some silver silverware or my black silverware. I just couldn't make up my mind which one I wanted to use. So I decided to go every other place setting with them. And then I didn't fold the napkin or anything. I just kind of laid it on top of my plate and put my chili bowl over the top of it. And then over here, I have this yellow 
water goblet or wine glass from the Dollar Tree I picked up last year. And look at these fabulous little margarita cups I found at Dollar Tree a couple weeks ago with the little cactus on them. I just thought these were so cute. I didn't go in there intending to buy any new stemware, but I saw these and thought they would fit perfect. And then I have this kind of aqua color little salad plate, also from the Dollar Tree that I picked up last year. And I just love having all the different colors. Now on this side, I also have an aqua color plate, but this one's a little bit different. But all these little salad plates are from Dollar Tree. Now here you can see that I have my blue water goblet or wine glass. Those are just plastic from the Dollar Tree last year. And again, another one of these little margarita cactus glasses that I just picked up. And then on this place setting, let me go ahead and I will scooch over this chili bowl and my napkin. And let me show you this plate here. I had forgotten I had even gotten these plates. I picked these up at the 90% off sale at Hobby Lobby last year. And I forgot I had them. I hadn't even gotten the price tags off from these. But I only paid like 59 cents for these at the end of spring last year. All the rest of my plates that I'm using on the table are from Dollar Tree and are just like their porcelain um, Dollar Tree plates. And then you can see on this one, I have the salmon color placemat from Dollar Tree that I got last year. And I just love having each place setting a different color. And on this one, I am using the silver silverware. And I love all the bright colors. And like I said, those lays up above are just from the Dollar Tree last year. Then over on this side, I have one of these Dollar Tree orange salad plates. And then again, with the stemware, I have the same stemware. Every other one, I just either use the yellow or the blue wine glass. Now this place setting has a blue plate with the green placemat, both from Dollar Tree, and then the black silverware. And again, I'm not folding the napkins or anything. I just have them laid here on the plate with the chili bowl on top of them. And then the salad plates off to the side. And that is what I did for each of my place settings. And then let me take you in, I'll show you a little bit closer on some of these things that I put here in my centerpiece. Now, my daughter's boyfriend, who is Mexican, he told me I need to add a few more things onto my centerpiece than what I had originally. He told me to go ahead and add in the corn, add in a guitar, and also the maracas. So... I went and added those things in. I didn't have them originally. I am loving the way the centerpiece turned out with all the bright reds and yellows. And on my last year, Cinco de Mayo, he had told me to add in more yellows and more reds. And so this year I took that part to heart and I did that. Now look at this beautiful platter down here all along the edge of it. It has all these really pretty peppers all the way along. So I love this platter and it is huge. You can see even with these um, tiered trays or with the trays that I put in the center to make it a tiered tray, this platter is so big you can still see around it. So I still have plenty of room to add these corns in. And just one more quick look at everything here. And like I said, I'm going to show you how I painted these maracas in just a second here. Because these, I had the hardest time trying to find maracas anywhere. And the only ones I could find were at five below. And they were kids maracas. Let me show you here real quick. These were Paw Patrol kid maracas. So what I did is I took some of this white apple barrel, like their matte paint, and I painted them all white at first. And then I grabbed out these other paints here. 
And you can see here they had stickers on the front with these dogs on them. And that was definitely not the look I was going for. So I wanted to change this up a little bit. I decided to go ahead and paint these. And I did paint them white to begin with, but it was just too white. It wasn't what I was going for. So I went and I took some of that yellow paint, mixed it in with the white until I had this really pretty soft yellow, kind of a cream color. And then I went and repainted them till I got them all this yellow. Then I just sectioned them off because I wasn't crazy about this flat part on each of them. So I kind of drew a circle around the top. And then right below that flat part, I drew a circle all the way around. And then again, right by the handle. Then I just kind of put a zigzag pattern on them. That's what my daughter's boyfriend told me I should do is use some zigzag patterns on them to make them look a little bit more authentic. So, and then I just took and drew a quick chili on these. I saw some on um, Google when I was looking and they had some chilies and some different things drawn on theirs. I thought, okay, I'll do my best. Just kind of draw that. And I'm sorry, I'm doing this one handed here. I'm holding my camera with one hand and I'm trying to draw with my other hand. So yeah, I know this is kind of crazy. And you can see when I painted them that the sticker is just kind of curling a little bit. But I couldn't take that sticker off because underneath that sticker was like a hole and a screw where they actually screwed the different pieces together for this maraca. So I just painted over the top of the sticker. This is my attempt at drawing a sombrero. And then on each side, I draw just something a little bit different. Over here on this one, I'm just going to try and draw a quick little cactus. Like I said, I'm doing this one handed while I'm trying to hold my camera. And so, yeah, it's a little rough, but it's better than the dog patrol look on my maracas. Then all I did is for each of my little zigzag patterns here, I painted that red. Let me show you a close up of that. And you can see, I just went ahead and painted the chili on this as well. And then I just did some more zigzag patterns right in between those. And here's the finished ones a little bit closer up. And here they are on my tablescape. So they're not perfect, but it's what I could come up with on the spare of the moment. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks so much for watching.